Hey everyone, today I'm going to test uh, whether using these colors I can get a cyan. Now uh, this is cobalt teal, this is the by far the most uh, famous these days and everyone wants to get a cobalt teal because it's such a beautiful color. But we will test out whether it's possible to get a color, uh, to mix a color from uh, all these combinations that we have and mixing with white. So we are going to uh, test that out. And the most important component in this, uh, you know, exercise is going to be this thalo green. Now, it would have been better if I had a viridian because it's, uh, it's another kind of a color that uh, is naturally obtained. It's not a lab produced. But uh, I mean, that produces a very beautiful bluish color when it's mixed with uh, white. Now, for argument's sake, I have one uh, sap green and uh, to test out whether I can get um, a cyan color out of a sap green mixing with any of these colors. Just to test that out and it might be wrong. And, you know, apart from that, uh, I need to convey this idea that uh, this is not the only color of cyan. There are many types of cyan. If you want to look at this diagram, then you'll be able to understand that there are many types of cyan. It's not just one cobalt teal kind of a color. There are, cyan is like a turquoise blue. So it's like a blue green color that we are trying to obtain. It's a mixture of green, blue, and sometimes it's mixed with white, sometimes it's not. So we are going to, you know, we are trying, we will try to understand whether it's possible. So we have three different types of uh, blues here. One is cobalt blue, and this one is almighty thalo blue. And this is again a very powerful color, Prussian blue. And for argument's sake, we are going to see if uh, we can make a cyan with um, this ivory black. I'm not sure if anybody has uh, you know, done this, but there are many types of cyan and it will be fun to understand whether it's possible to make a cyan out of black and uh, a mixture of green. So let's go ahead. So let's start with this color. This is a uh, cobalt teal and it's a very popular and beautiful color. So it will be interesting to see what it does when we mix it with little white. And this is a flake white hue. It's a replacement color for, you know, lead white. So this is a very beautiful color and produces great results. But again, I mean, it's fun to use this color on its own. Now let's add a bit more white and the, gradually the color will be leaning towards white more and more. So this is like a benchmark, but uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to mix um, thalo green with all these colors and sap green with all these colors and added with white depending upon the situation to understand whether a cyan can be made or not. We will be adding white later on but first let's uh, look at the nature of the color. So this is Thalo green. Let's just put some color here so that we can mix these uh, four blues. I'm treating black as a blue as well. It's a lot of black and blue. So this is all green and we will also do one uh, test to understand whether this color can produce a color like this or not. 
because this is a bluish green and uh, cyan is a blue green so we will check whether it's possible to create a blue green on its on using this color only so this is white a little bit mm. so this is a very powerful uh, green color it has some warmth in it but gradually will be moving towards the paler sections let's make it pale slight amount of so when we add more and more white to this color it moves towards blue this is interesting so this color is one kind of a cyan and I'm pretty excited to know this is this has some blue in it but this color has more green in it but it's going towards cyan a little bit and it would have been interesting to have viridian here but i'm going to share a link in the description box below and some um, another youtube blogger he has uh, posted a difference between thalo green and viridian against the uh, thalo blue and the viridian is surprisingly bluish when uh, white is added to it so that will be interesting to know so now I'm going to add uh, cobalt blue to this color and since I already have some white it will be interesting to uh, it will be easier to obtain the result so you can see it's already a blue green let's add a bit more green and a bit more blue since we have ample quantity here this is blue green mixed with cobalt blue and thalo green Let's add a bit more oil to it. Now this becomes fun. I'm adding a bit more blue so you can manipulate and create your own cyan. Let's, you know, make it very similar. Similar to that value. I'm making it a bit more saturated and then I'm going to add more oil and white some were very close in fact very close so Cobalt teal and cobalt blue, they are related and uh, using thalo green or perhaps viridian, we can mix a color very similar to that. Let's make it as pale as possible. And flake white hue is not a great tinter, but since there is titanium in this, it might do some interesting thing. Now due to the thalo color, and Thalo's power it becomes a little difficult to make it very pale with this kind of a color but we are still very close I think it's the same value so we can make this color if you want to add a bit more blue you can do that this is a bit more blue and a bit more white so with uh, you know cobalt blue and thalo green you can mix a very good blue green color a turquoise a cyan whatever you want to call it it may not have the brightness of that color but it's still very good very good in fact now we are going to move to the almighty thalo family thalo green thalo blue let's add a little bit 
blue because it's blue green so let's not make it blue there is there is that cyan color let's make it saturated a little bit more so this is like a proprietary mix thelo uh, thelo blue thelo green mix sometimes there are many names to it but i mean you can make it on it on your own i mean it's that easy let's just use a little bit of white so this is like a very powerful color so it's possible to make uh, good cyan colors no doubt but the single pigment obviously does well to produce good results so this is like a thelo uh, blue thelo green so this is very similar to thelo turquoise color and this is the pale form very pale so we have almost four values here we can make it very dark i'm just going to use another brush this is thelo and both the thelo so it can become very very dark actually so you have five values and you can have intermediate values if you want to it looks slightly bluish but uh, you know these are very powerful colors now i'm going to do the same with the uh, with this color this is prussian blue i'm going to mix it with a uh, thelo uh, thelo blue prussian blue is a very old color almost 300 years old if not more and it is one of the first synthetic pigments accidentally found while the the alchemist was trying to uh, find out a red color so he found blue now i can see that prussian blue is overpowering a little so i must turn it a little bit more green and let's mix that color into this color So now let's add whites to it. I have some white in it. I'm going to add a little bit of white and see how if uh, Prussian blue also helps in making a good color, good turquoise color. Hmm. Just need to add a bit more blue so it doesn't remain green. A bit more blue. unless you add white it's very difficult to understand the color sometimes maybe a little bit green so here's your bluish green maybe a little bit more both the colors are very powerful so you need to be careful about what you're going to do and the value is dark so you need to add you know white hmm let's make it pale so we can see that uh, you know all of these colors are capable of mixing uh, blue greens all of these colors have produced great blue greens this is thelo green so it's more greenish rather than bluish but if i had viridian it would have been something similar to this color perhaps here when the values are more or less same now i'm going to use the black and let's see if uh, mixed with thelo green it can produce a decent amount of uh, turquoise color so let's do that 
I don't know if anybody has even thought about it. It's going to make a very dull kind of a turquoise color, but I'm going to use as much green as possible. There are many shades to cyan. It's not not just one or two colors. There are many shades. If you see the diagram that I shown uh, before this looks like a bluish green let's just add a little let's just add a little bit of black to this green hmm it turns it into something like a dull kind of a cyan Maybe a little bit more here. A bit more green and black. And we will be making the mix paler. Add more white. You know, uh, it's very easy to do this. I mean, if you see that this color is uh, more blackish then you can add a bit more green but we are using uh, black as a blue and darkest form of blue so uh, the theory is perfect I mean this is leading towards the Viridian mix to some degree what I saw uh, in the in that experiment made by the other YouTube blogger It's very interesting. So we still have a very dull kind of uh, a cyan or a turquoise. So this is highly successful. We can see that we can mix in you know, a great uh, variety of um, you know, blue greens here. Now let's use this color. This is a sap green. And let's see if we can mix any kind of cyan whatsoever, if it is possible at all. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay, so now I'm going to use this uh, sap green to mix cyan, and I am not sure if it is possible to make a cyan. Obviously, I need uh, white in this to create something very similar to a. Uh, blue green I don't know if it's possible but let's just do that now it's not possible to produce a blue green color with the uh, sap green or very difficult unless you have uh, thalo colors or Prussian colors which are very powerful blues now I'm thinking of uh, using a little bit of ye lemon yellow and mix uh, these two colors and check if uh, we can produce a blue green color using thalo blue lemon yellow and prussian blue lemon yellow now we can see that um, you know mixing with uh, lemon yellow and uh, thalo blue we can mix a decent uh, you know blue green color and mix with white it certainly works very well and somewhat muted in uh, the Prussian blue and if we add a bit more blue to it then it might uh, help so looking at this um, I think it's better to use a thalo green and uh, you know all, all any of these uh, blues even black which may produce a dull kind of a turquoise but uh, the component of uh, thalo is very important and uh, the qualities of uh, a cobalt teal is maybe a little bit difficult to obtain because it's, it's such a beautiful color and gradually if we add a bit more white to it it creates a very electric kind of a uh, you know a situation for example if we mix uh, 
you know a cobalt teal with a cool yellow we can get a very powerful uh, you know green and similarly if we add a you know a cool red with uh, this color we can get a cool uh, very powerful uh, violet color so you know it's important if you want to mix a, a decent amount of blue green then it's better to have a thalo green or a viridian so that uh, you know you can mix the color that you want uh, most badly and it's very difficult to obtain one with uh, sap green but these are still blue greens but these are very dull kind of a color and especially these two and but uh, these two had uh, prussian and thalo blue so they are more very powerful uh, than the sap green so they produce some uh, dull kind of a blue green and in here we can see that uh, it's possible to make a uh, you know decent blue greens mixing with just halo and uh, lemon yellow or a cadmium yellow lemon or any of the cool uh, cool uh, modern uh, yellow colors that we have so that's it for today and i hope you enjoyed it and take care